Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, in part seven here, we encounter arguably the hardest question in this video series so far, and therefore to me, the most fun. Um, all right, so uh, the question is, given that alpha times x to the power 1004 minus beta times x to the power 1003 plus 15 is divisible by the quadratic x squared minus x plus 1, we have to find the sum of alpha and beta. All right, how do we start? First is, uh, this quadratic should be somewhat familiar. It comes from sum of cubes. Um, that's to say that x cubed plus 1 cubed is equal to x plus 1 times the quadratic here. Um, all right, uh, and this is going to be very useful in a second. Okay, where to from here? Well, um, so if a and b are roots of the quadratic x squared uh, minus x plus 1, that is, if a squared minus a plus 1 equals 0 and b squared uh, minus b plus 1 equals 0, then a and b must also be roots of x cubed plus 1 because x cubed plus 1 has as its factor x squared minus x plus 1. So if, for example, a squared minus a plus 1 is equal to 0, then clearly a cubed plus 1 will equal 0 as this part will be 0 when we plug in a. Um, it doesn't matter what happens with the a plus 1, right? When we plug in a, this part will be 0. And likewise, when we plug in b, this part will be 0. So we conclude then that a cubed plus 1 is equal to 0 and b cubed plus 1 is equal to 0. But first, um, let's note that uh, since a and b are roots of this quadratic here, it means this and this are both equal to 0. But from there, as we said, we can conclude that... Um, a cubed and uh, b cubed are both equal to negative 1 because a cubed plus 1 is equal to 0 and b cubed plus 1 is equal to 0. So a cubed equals b cubed equals negative 1. And this is going to be very useful in a second. Now, since this quadratic divides uh, this 1004 degree polynomial, uh, it must mean that the roots of the quadratic are also roots of this 1,004th degree uh, polynomial in x. Yeah? So that's to say, since this here, this quadratic divides this here, their roots must be shared. They must have common roots, two common roots to be specific. So if a and b are the roots of the quadratic, then a and b are roots of this 1,004th degree uh, polynomial. That means that alpha times uh, a to the 1004 minus beta times a to the 1003 plus 15 needs to equal 0. And uh, what was true about a has to also be true about b, yeah? Because a and b are roots of the quadratic. And since the quadratic divides this 1004th degree polynomial, the roots of the quadratic must also be roots of the 1004th degree polynomial, is what I've said maybe like a few times. Um, maybe one time too many. All right, all right, all right. Anyway. Uh, these last two uh, equations I showed you uh, involving the 1,004th degree polynomial can be rewritten in this way uh, for A and in this way for B, right? I've named them like equation 1 and then equation 2 using Roman numerals, fancy Roman numerals, I might add. All right. Now, I say that they can be uh, rewritten this way, and all I've done is like rewritten um, A to the 1,004 as A to the 3rd to the 334th times a squared, and that's legit, right? That works out using exponent rules. 3 times 334 is uh, 1,002, and then uh, plus 2 from the a squared is going to make the 1,004 uh, power on a that we need to start, multiplying alpha, right? And okay, you could check it basically more closely if you want. Now, the reason why I wanted to go in this direction is because I know a cubed and b cubed are both equal to negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and replace a cubed with negative 1 and then uh, replace b cubed with negative 1. And when I do, uh, we're going to get negative 1 to the 334th power, which is just 1. Since 334 is even, negative 1 to an even power is just 1. And so uh, we're just going to get 1 in place of all this junk here and likewise in place of all this junk here. And so basically these last two equations I displayed can be reduced to... Uh, these two equations but wait this must automatically mean that alpha and beta are 15 and the reason is because 
we know right here, like at the top right here, we know a squared minus a plus 1 has to be 0, and b squared minus b plus 1 has to equal 0. So if I have alpha times a squared, which is also a quadratic like this here, right, uh, minus beta times a plus 15 is equal to 0, this quadratic here and this quadratic here must be multiples of one another. Um, and that's what we're saying. So as a result, as I've already just said, um, a and alpha has to be 15 and beta have to be 15. And that's again because um, since we said this is true, a squared minus a plus 1 is equal to 0 and b squared minus b plus 1 is equal to 0, the only way that this other quadratic alpha times a squared minus uh, b times a plus 15 will equal 0 is if it's a multiple of this quadratic a squared minus a plus 1, which means that seeing that the 1 is changed to a 15, beta must be 15 and alpha must be 15. So alpha plus beta is 30. Yeah? All right, cool. I hope you understood it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section, but otherwise, uh, keep watching and take care.